Hey, hi guys, this is Bakapa Chincholikar. Welcome back to tutorial on how to create Selenium Cucumber BDT framework. So in the today's tutorial, we will discuss how to attach screenshot into the extend report version 4 for the failed test script in Cucumber Selenium framework. In the previous tutorial, we have discussed how to generate extend report version 4 in Cucumber with Selenium framework by using the page object model concept. So before that we have discussed how to implement the basic listeners in Selenium Cucumber framework. So let us jump to the today's tutorial. We'll discuss how to attach the screenshot into the extent report for the failed test scripts. So just I have jumped into the Eclipse IDE. So I will go to the this particular package com dot automation test automation dot listeners. Under this, I will open the extend rep report listener class. So if I maximize this, so we have developed on simple test method. That is a simple method test step handle. So this particular method we are calling in the catch block. If I go to the one of the step definition file. So let me open the feature file first. So if I open this particular step definition class. So we are calling this particular test step handle method in each and every step. So what what I'll be doing is we are going to create a simple method in the extent report listener class so that is going to capture the screenshot and it is going to attach it into the extent report so what i will do is so here i'm going to create the two methods so first one is how to capture the screenshot so let me just copy this particular code then i will explain you what exactly this two methods are doing so just i have copied let's let me paste it here so we have two method first one is capture screenshot so it takes the driver object and one more method i have is get current date and time so this particular method we have implemented the reason behind this is so every time we capture a screenshot we are giving the name for that particular screenshot based on the system date and time and seconds. So let me explain you this particular method that is capture screenshot method. So it is uh, accepting the driver object. Then we are casting this particular driver object into the take screenshot interface. By using this object, I'm going to call to the get screenshot as output type is will be file type in the destination just i'm just specifying the where exactly my screenshot has to be shared where exactly my screenshot has to be placed so before that so my screenshot will be the in my screenshot will be in the format of dot png format you can specify the format whichever you want so before that i have called to the get current date and time method so this particular method what what it is doing it is down here only so this particular method so just we are created the object of simple date format and the date so after that we are formatting it by using the dot format that is a string method so we are getting the date in, in this particular format after that in this particular line line number 80 so we wherever we find space just we are removing that space by using the replace method so say for example this is the format we are getting the date and the time and milliseconds so this will be the date month day and the year this is hour minutes seconds and milliseconds so first we are formatting it after formatting it we are replacing wherever space is there. Say for example, we have space here, right? So we are removing that particular space 
and after that we are removing this particular slash that is the after month after dd we have slash it we are removing that forward slash and at the end we have colon right so these colons we are removing it by using the replace all method so finally it is going to return you the unique string name so that string name we are giving to the our screenshot name so that's why we are giving the destination this is where my screenshot is going to store it so after that we are using the file file object under the file we are passing the where exactly my screenshot is exist then we are copying it from source to the destination target so basically this particular src will be holding the screenshot so in this line number 70 so just i'm copying src to the destination so in the line number 70 just we are copying the screenshot to the source to the target location then finally it is returning me the where exactly this where exactly my screenshot got stored so this is where my screenshot is getting stored this is a simple method we have first one is for it accepts the driver object then it returns you the capture screenshot name with the location then next method i have is just get current date and time so it returns you the unique number so that i am specifying it to for the any of the screenshot so that's it so we have implemented two methods in the extent report report listener class so total we have first one is setup method and second method we have sorry step handle method sorry test step handle method third method we have is capture screenshot then the fourth method i have is get current date and time so that's it so i'm going to call this particular method in the test step handle method so if you go to this particular method test step handle method so we are getting the test case status if it is fail we are going to write all the information i mean exception details into the extent report in this case right so here what i will do is simply i'll copy these two lines from my text file just i'm co copying these four lines of code just i'm pasting into the this under fail case so that's it if you look at here so i have used the extent report extent report reference variable dot so this is a inbuilt inbuilt method what we have in extent report after that we need to provide you the path where exactly that particular screenshot exists so that it can attach this that particular screenshot to the extent report so let us save this program and we will go ahead and we will execute the one of the same future file so as we have specified in the test runner so i'll go to the test runner class so already we have specified in the previous tutorial so in the previous tutorial what we have done so if i go to the last step validate channel name so in this particular step we we were failing this particular step because to see uh, whether this particular step is logging the exception details into the extent report or not so forcefully we have deleted here e at the end we have deleted one single character e so it was getting failed so in this case also we we do not have any e here so it will get failed so it should capture the screenshot in this time so previously we have not attached the screenshot when the test case is getting failed or particular scenario is getting failed so if i execute this particular testng.xml file so it has launched the web browser it has entered the url then it has to specify the search criteria 
then it is clicking on the search button it is clicking on the channel name then it is validating the title of the web page so that's it so let me refresh this particular report reports folder if i refresh this particular report folder then i'll open this particular html report if i click on this particular screenshot if see if, so whenever we have a fail then only it is going to capture this particular screenshot and it is going to attach here so it say for example in our case it is failing in this particular location i mean in this particular step so it is attaching you the screenshot here if you click on this particular screenshot icon so it is giving you the screenshot of where exactly it is getting failed so this is how you can attach the screenshot to the failed test scripts in the cucumber selenium framework if you have any questions please comment in the comment section if you want to get more updates from this particular channel please click on subscribe button if you like this particular video please click on like button and share with your friends and colleagues so next tutorial will be on how to attach screenshot into extend report version 4 for each steps in cucumber selenium framework thank you thank you very much for watching this tutorial on how to develop selenium cucumber bdt framework